Guys, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day as always. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jeff and this is where I share my personal passions for my gun collection, my passion for cars. I have a 2023 C8 hardtop convertible special edition 70th anniversary Corvette. And if you'd like to check that out, feel free to go through the channel. But today we're talking about my passion for watches in specific, the Rolex GMT Master II root beer and why I think this is gonna be discontinued and brought back in a different variation. This is a continuation to my last upload, which was about my Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi. And I also believe that this is gonna possibly be discontinued and brought back also in a different variation. So today we're gonna to go a little further in depth about why I believe the root beer is being discontinued. And if you'd like to see anything else about this Pepsi uh, and my opinions on that subject, feel free to check out this link right up here. We're also gonna be discussing where I purchased my root beer how long did I wait for it? Did I wait for it? And did I get it from an authorized dealer? Uh, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, you know that this watch was purchased back in 2018 when it first came out. At the time, everybody was really, really concentrating on this Jubilee Pepsi, which was brought back to its previous era of design. First time it's brought back into the ceramic bezel, which was a big deal to very many. Uh, if you'd like to see the whole history of the different variations of reference numbers, please click that link right up above and that will go over everything you want to know. It's a gorgeous watch. Going back to the root beer. So in 2018, I was offered this watch from an AD at retail randomly. So we were at the store, my, at the time, my fiance were at the authorized dealer and we were just looking and I had an amazing conversation with a gentleman named Kiba, which we will dive into in a few minutes of who that is. And during that conversation, uh, he realized how passionate I was for watches and uh, gave me the opportunity that I did not think I was gonna have. So during that discussion, we were talking about the Pepsi at the time. And long story short, he went to the vault and came back with a smile, pulled this, uh, well, the Rolex box from underneath his suit, his little bow tie he had on, had a little grin on his face and uh, put that box on the table. And as you can imagine, I looked at my wife and, well, fiance at the time and said, can't say no. No way we could say no. Now at that particular point in time, I did not have uh, my finances with me, meaning my credit cards or cash on me. So I asked him, I said, well, what time are you going to close? <laughs> and he told me, ah, about four o'clock. Well, that particular store is about an hour away from where we lived. So he let me give him a deposit. Uh, I went back home and came back and we purchased a watch. Now, this is that 1% chance, uh, I don't know, percentage-wise, right? 1%, 5%, whatever it may be. Right now, they're very difficult and have been very difficult to obtain. The chances of you walking into an AD and getting this watch um, straight from the AD that day, it's pretty slim. I'm living proof that it can happen, but times have changed since 2018. A lot has changed in the watch world. So my point is, you probably still have a very slight chance of that happening. If you guys have picked us up from the AD recently, let me know. Let me know what you think about this watch. So I've been in love with this ever since. Which brings me to Rockwell Jewelers LLC. That is Kiva's new business. Uh, I will put his information right up here. A lot of people have asked where I get my watches from. This is where I get my watches from. He has become a very close friend, practically family. Uh, enough where Kiva and his family have were invited to our wedding in the past and we're still very close friends now. So Rockwell Jewelers LLC, congratulations Kiva on your new business. Uh, we will be doing a separate upload where we're going to meet him and go over his business in more detail. But I want to share you guys with that, uh, share that information with you because I'm very, very excited with him. He's been in business for a long time. Fast forward uh, throughout the years of me owning Daytona, uh, the Daytona, a different uh, sea dwellers at different GMTs. I talked to him and I said, hey, look, I would love to get the Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi. I originally wanted the Mark I dial and uh, he made this happen. So again, we will go over this in a different video as far as his business, but I wanted to put that out there. Now diving into the root beer and what I think is going to happen with this watch. If you've been paying attention to uh, what Tudor has done, which is a sister branch to Rolex, they have brought up their version of the root beer but in a 41 millimeter. And I do believe 
The Rolex, again, as I stated in my previous upload, is testing the waters for 41 millimeter. We know that they brought back, or they discontinued the sub, uh, Submariner, and they brought that back and a 41 millimeter. Now that case size, when you measure it, is slightly different. It's not technically a 41. A lot of people have commented, and guys, I appreciate your comments without a doubt. Feel free to comment. Um, obviously, be respectful, but I have no problem uh, discussing other people's opinions, right? So rightfully so. Some have commented and said, why would they discontinue, for instance, the Pepsi, with it being such a popular model, right? Uh, and it's doing so well, aside from the rumors that are taking place right now with the uh, bezel. Well, only Rolex knows. Why would they discontinue the, the, the sub when it was doing amazing in a 40 millimeter, probably one of the most popular Rolexes ever? Well, they wanted to. As simple as that, just because they wanted to. Well, I believe the Tudor uh, is being tested in a 41 to possibly bring this back in a 41. They might just bring it back in a Jubilee. I say bring it back because originally the root beer was in a Jubilee. And as they did with the Pepsi, you can get an Oyster or a Jubilee bracelet. Currently, with the root beer, you can only get the Oyster bracelet. So, I think two things are probably going to happen. If they keep the 40 millimeter, they're going to bring it back with a Jubilee. Or, they're going to bring it back as a 41 millimeter with a Jubilee. Again, if you look at Tudor, they're also testing out different Jubilee bracelets. Uh, currently as we speak or guys I could be completely wrong they can keep this exactly as is and it won't change at all this is just a conversation I'm going to share with you guys to let you know what I think is possibly going to happen if you have an opportunity to purchase this watch I would highly recommend you do so you will absolutely fall in love with this timepiece now I've asked this question before uh, if you had an opportunity to uh, purchase one of these uh, which one would you choose the Pepsi or the root beer I love them both. <laughs> this is more of a daily wear. Uh, this can go with just about anything. Do I really care about outfits? I hate to break it to you, not really. I'm pretty laid back uh, as far as the root beer. Sometimes it just sticks out a little bit too much and that's more uh, per se the environment that I'm in, right? Safety wise, this sticks out a little bit more. And obviously for anybody that knows anything about watches, they would know that you know the Pepsi is very sought after and that could be something you want to be very cautious about as well. Needless to say, be smart in your environment where you're your watches. Now, as far as this root beer, um, again, I've had this for a long time now, well, since it first came out, it's gonna be a little bit different. Now, if you look at the date just 41 millimeter, they had a rose gold Jubilee. I think that looks pretty nice. Now, is that the watch for me? Would I purchase the Jubilee in two-tone rose gold? Probably not. Um, I know you're probably thinking, well, why would you not purchase that and purchase this? Well, I'm a little, I'm a little attached to this, a little sentimental. This is my engagement watch when I first got engaged to my wife. So um, this is never gonna be out of the collection. It will always stay. And again, I, I can't thank Kiva enough for giving me this opportunity for this watch and along with the Pepsi and all the rest of the watches I bought. And not only that, but Kiva is just a genuinely good guy. Family is just awesome. That leads me to, uh, if you're going to go on the pre-owned market, which you very well might have to if you want the root beer, um, you want to buy the seller. In other words, do your research, find out if they are trustworthy or not, um, get to know them if you can. There is a lot of pre-owned authorized dealers um, or pre-owned dealers out there, and I don't want to get too far into this, but in my opinion, they're pretty shady. You know, anybody that brags about how much they made off of other people, first flag that goes up. I just, I just don't get that, you know? Um, and then anyone that is not knowledgeable as far as the watches themselves, that's more just a salesperson, second flag. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, well, I just don't care. As long as I can get the watch safely, I don't care what they know. Call me crazy, but I'm just a little more sentimental. I, I go by my gut feeling, and if I see somebody out there that's selling watches, and all they do is treat them like a piece of material, and all they care about is how much money they or their business is making monthly or quarterly. And that's all they talk about. Look, I'm not desperate to get a watch. I just won't, I won't do any business with them. That's just me. To do a recap, um, 41 millimeter next year on a Jubilee. Again, I, I believe obviously it's quite clear that Tudor is testing out this version of, of this in, in a 41. Or it's going to uh, stay as a 40 millimeter 
uh, on a Jubilee. I think it's going to be one of the two. I could be wrong. So guys, let me know what you think as far as this Rolex GMT Master. And also, let me know what you think about the Pepsi as well. Um, a lot of people are thinking it's just hype that these watches are going to be discontinued and people are trying to basically get the value of these watches go up for whomever's benefit, whether it's them, a company, or, or whoever it may be. Now, for some people, that might be true. The yellow gold uh, Daytona with the green dial, it took some time. Obviously, that was discontinued. The left-hand drive that came out recently in the GMT Master II, nobody saw that coming. I didn't see that coming. I definitely didn't see that as, as a release from Rolex. I also did not see at the time or believe that they were going to get rid of the sub. I just didn't, you know, and bring it back into 41. I didn't believe that. So uh, that is a uh, case in point, especially the Daytonas that got discontinued now. Um, everybody thought they were going to bring it back with a steel bezel, and they didn't. But they did discontinue the previous versions, and they slightly changed them, which case in point is what I believe they're probably going to do to this. So again, guys, it's just, just my opinion. Only people that really know is Rolex themselves. So that's my two cents on the Rolex GMT Master 2 Pepsi. Whoa. Yep, we got that wrong. <laughs> There's the Pepsi. The GMT Master 2 root beer. That is my two cents and why I believe this watch is uh, probably going to be brought back in a different variation. So guys, let me know what you think. Have a great day and uh, I'll see you the next upload.